One of the features buried in the pitch scaling quantum main mode of the ornament and crime is a Turing machine function available on each of the four channels. Popularized by modules like the Richter noise ring and the Music Thing Turing machine, this take on looped randomized voltages is perfect for generating happy accidents and has become a staple in Eurorack systems. The concept behind the Turing machine is deceptively simple. The module employs a linear feedback shift register, which generates a series of pseudo-random voltages. One knob controls the probability that each step will be randomized. When this knob is turned to its extreme, the last few steps will be looped, the number of looped steps determined by another knob. A third knob generally acts as a VCA, controlling the voltage range of the randomized steps. Each channel in quantum main mode can be set to Turing machine mode. Let's route a clock to the trigger one input and look at the menu settings for channel A. I'll set the scale to off. Instead of selecting one of the four channels as a CV source, I'll scroll one step further, revealing a series of shifting bars representing each step. Below, we see each of the functions we saw in the original Turing machine. LFSR length refers to the number of steps in our randomized loop when enabled. I'll set it to eight steps. LFSR range controls the voltage range of the randomized steps. I'll leave this alone for now. LFSR P is the probability control. When set to zero, the last eight randomized steps will be repeated until we change the probability amount to a value higher than zero. Since this process is a bit cumbersome when performed completely within the module, the next two menu items allow the CV inputs to be assigned to either the CV range or probability. These are critical functions, and having external control makes this mode so much more useful. I'll route the channel 2 variable output from maths to the CV4 input, and set the LFSR probability CV source to CV4. I'll make sure that the LFSR P value is set to zero, as the input voltage adds to this value. When the maths channel 2 attenuverter is set to zero, we should get a solid looping sequence. We can change the sequence by increasing the attenuverter, randomizing the sequence, and then freeze it again by returning the attenuverter back to zero. Paired with a complex oscillator like the DPO, you'll have techno till the cows come home. For more harmonious results, the Turing patterns can be quantized through the scale modes, and most of the remaining functions are similar to the original quantum main mode settings. How are you employing a Turing machine or randomization into your patches? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.